Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. All right, in the last episode, we had a uh, Norse-Welsh uprising here in Chester. How dare they? So I'm sending in my army. We've got some uh, miscellaneous guys coming up, but uh, uh, it is September 1st. Uh, these guys will come in on the 3rd, and these guys will come in on the 5th. Um, so I hope these guys uh, can uh, hold out for a little while. Let's go ahead and... Watch this battle. It's definitely not going to go well for the uh, for our Welsh friends. There we go. Now we got the big army in. That's a good bonus there. Okay, and we got another uh, uh, levy reinforcement. That's good. Um, you're not doing as well as I hoped, uh, guys. Okay, there we go. Uh, 63. Uh, didn't quite take him out. Where is he going? He's going to Lancaster. Alright, all of you guys merge up. Head up there. Chase that guy down. Uh, that bishop has been imprisoned for some reason. Alright, so, hey! How does it feel, guys? Wow, only killed 165? Really? Really? Where exactly are you going? Um, Westmoreland. That's Westmoreland. Okay. Alright, everyone. Over to Westmoreland. guys together. It's probably because it leads off with that tiny army, and then the uh, reinforcements come in. That's probably why it doesn't go very well. Ah, there we go. That's sh not quite 100%. Are you going to surrender? Please tell me you're going to surrender. No. Come on, you pansy. Really? Really? Look, you're even over your supply limit. Alright. We'll head up to Cumberland, then. You can die up there. It's fine by me. I don't mind. Oh, look. Look, you all died. You all died. Every single one of you. Offer peace. Thank you. And you... You, sir... Just get out of here. Thank you. I could have executed him, but uh, I, I, I didn't. Oh, hey! We may eventually meet him again. It's kind of amusing. Alright, let's uh, disband all of those guys. Yeah, I don't think we lost any, uh, cavalry. Let's see, there's one cavalry, there's the other one. Okay. Excellent. Alright, head back down there. Uh, child, uh, ooh, you're, you're ill, that's, that's not good. That is not good. Um, I hope you don't die there. Let's just go ahead and educate you. Uh, who would be good to educate you? Um... Go with you. Alrighty, well, uh, we could go to war against, uh, Wessex next. Um, I'm suffering from somewhat depleted, uh, uh, levies, though. That's 
uh, unfortunate. I will need to... I might wait, get that back up a bit. I don't care about measles in Cornwall. Let's see, 9.52 uh, until I can go to war against her. She's 58, so she might not actually live that long. All right, well, how many troops can you raise? Oh, uh, you know what? I might... I might have a problem going to war against him. Ah, oh, yeah, I've got a truce. Why exactly do I have a truce? Okay, well, uh, I guess I won't... Oh, that was... Uh, was I at war with him when uh, my previous king died? I can't remember. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, no, I must have gone to war. I can't remember. I'm forgetting. We got a new faction. Fifteen point three percent of liege already with just one guy. All right, why don't you like me? Still have some short reign penalties. You're ambitious. That's right. You're the ambitious guy. Ward honorary title. Here, have a cup. Become a cup bearer. Don't you hate it when you feel like you're about to sneeze and you don't? <clears throat> yeah. Such a fun feeling. Alright, what is our council doing right now? Um. Proselytizing. Yeah. Okay. You're all. Uh, you're all doing good stuff. That's good. I'm happy with that. Can I do anything with my laws? I would like to increase my taxation, but I might hold off on that for now. Got my barracks. Alright, let's see. So castle fortifications are the only thing that I have not built. Not too worried about having uh, anyone attack my uh, main castle, so probably leave that probably leave that alone. Um staples wouldn't be too expensive. I think I'll wait until I have a little bit more money though. Catholic. That's always good. I should build one at some buildings here, though, to get more, uh... Uh, get a larger levy. That would be very beneficial. Alright, so I can't go to war against, uh... Essex. I don't think I have any... Well, I do have the claim on Evro, but there's no way that I can go to war against France. How is your ward down here going? Uh, 94%. That's, <laughs> that's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. Ah, excellent.
How did you end up turning out? Okay, you're quick, charitable, temperate, deceitful, gray eminence. I would have liked to hire stewardship. Not much I can do about that. You've got a claim on the Duchy of Champagne. Right now, at least. Well, let's uh, go ahead and uh, get that marriage going. Looks like Bourbon is rebelling against uh, Aquitaine. Oh, look! Aquitaine and Aquitaine. Good times. Okay, we can c collect a royal aid duty to pay for the ceremonies. Uh, yes, it is everyone's concern. I'll only get just under 100 gold. Uh, and people respect wealth. I will gain 200 prestige. It's really not all that much money, so let's just go ahead with the prestige. Prestige will uh, help out my uh, um, uh, opinions of me. Let's see. You have been studying the art of mounted combat under the tutelage of a skilled local horseman. The bruises you have incurred from falling off your horse will heal in time, and they are a small price to pay for your increased horsemanship. Giddy up! Gain one marshal. Nice! I have fulfilled the amb ambition to improve marshal ability. Really? I have... Oh, that's because I became diligent. That's right. Okay, well, I need another ambition. Uh, let's see, I'd gain 10 piety for having a son, 10 piety for having a daughter, or I could improve my stewardship, which I would like to get, but let's go for uh, have a son first. It should be easier to get, and then we will improve, try to improve our stewardship. You could uh, work on improving your stewardship as well. And now we're 5 out of 6. Good. Peasant leader. I didn't realize that. Who are you in who are you imprisoned by? You're in the Oubliette, wow. War Chief Palino Palinotoke the Fowler. Interesting. Oh, another peasant leader. Interesting. I should probably, uh... Maybe I'll... Send my, uh, um... Chancellor over there to fabricate some claims when, uh... <clears throat> when I'm done there, rather than directly over to, uh... uh Scandinavia. <laughs> Might be a better idea. I can go to war really against anyone right now, easily at least. Nope. Let's see if we could actually go to war against Denmark. There we go. Castle walls have been built. I could declare war. Uh, I'm. Uh, we got a truce until 946, so one year. Uh, let's see. Claim Bornholm. Ah, right there. He is not a uh, ruler, though, so I don't think that would uh, really help me much. Uh, unless, of course, it ended up uh, falling to a child of one of them or something like that. I claim Pomerania. Yeah, I don't think I have anyone... That I could really claim for. 
She has children, but they're not in my, um, they're not du jour, uh, vassals. So that wouldn't really do me any good. Can I declare war on you? Nope. Can I declare war on you? Nope. The Troubadour and his wife, the Troberitz, has arrived from Ossetania. Their performances range from vulgar satires to political servantes, and everything in between, including songs and poems of courtly love. I hope they know. Falcon lied. This option is available because you have the kind trait. I would gain one intrigue. If I did that, uh, Bishop Lear would uh, like me more. Uh, I could gain the tra trait of charitable, which I already have. I want to take the intrigue. Nice. That's a nice little bonus there. Ooh, dropped down to 45%. It's not looking good for the Danish there. That's, uh, that's a pretty big uh, fall off. They were almost done. My liege, I write to you with bad news from Gwyneth. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have met with resistance, and the peasants are arming themselves. I fear we might have a revolt on our hands here soon. Well, crap. High taxes gain the following effects. Local revolt risk plus 5%. Well, poop. Oh well. Should be fine. At least he wasn't wounded. That's the important part. I could try that, but I'm pretty sure he has... Not many troops, actually. Although, again, I'm not positive on how it takes that into account with the uh, uh, new changes in the patch. Really can't do a whole lot else against anyone. Outside of the British Isles, at least. Upper Lorraine rebelling? No. Upper Lorraine is just independent. I think Ipperin is uh, just independent as well. Yep. I can't go to war against you, can I? Oh, I could. I could. Uh, for a courtier... That's a pretty big duchy there. Might be able to do something uh, with his kids. Since they have strong claims on... Since he has strong claims on both of those. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. Whether they actually have any kids. Would be nice if that would happen. Let's actually take a quick look. Did, uh... You are Norse. That's unfortunate. You, let's educate you as Welsh. Alright, someone who is gregarious. You are gregarious. You are 53. You might not live all that long, so let's go with you. There we go. What other Norse people did we have? You don't have any children yet. You are Welsh. You are Norse. You're 
heir is Welsh. Good. Uh, you are you are gregarious. Eight. All right. Let's uh, let's get to educating you with someone. This will make this fast. Go ahead and educate with him. And your daughters are not old enough yet. Good. Good. Alright, let's see. How about you? Uh, you were Welsh. Oh yeah, I think I granted you that territory. You were Norse. You are Norse. You are Norse. Uh, let's go ahead and educate you. Now uh, let's educate you with him. You are Norse. Um, let's get you educated. You are nine. Close to the cutoff. You're 53. You're 21. That's good. That's a good choice. Thank you. You're Irish. Let's, uh... Let's start educating your son. have a, uh... Oh. <laughs> uh... I guess, uh... Yeah, he was married... This guy who I killed... <laughs> uh, was married to her, who, uh, then went home. That, that's a, that's a, that is a lot of dead kings there. <laughs> uh, good times. Uh, you're ill, though. That's disappointing. Alright, let's uh, get back to educating you. Let's see if we can make you uh, Welsh rather than Irish. Uh, you're a little bit too old. You might. Hopefully, you don't already have someone else. Because I know I just sent you to be educated with the. Uh, someone to be educated with him. Good. Uh, let's see. Welsh, Welsh. Welsh, Welsh, Welsh. Alright, looking good. You were still German. Uh, but you are Welsh. That's the important part. Uh, three? Alright, I'll have to keep an eye on that child there. Those children. I think we've got most of the others right now. I'll actually probably have a couple down here who are... Oh, you're Scottish. How are you Scottish? You are Welsh. You are Welsh. Okay, that's... Good enough. The uh, the heir is uh, Welsh, and his kid is uh, should also be Welsh. Yep. You are Welsh. You are Irish. You have a child. You have children. Let's see. You are Welsh. You are Irish. You are Irish. Um. Might be too late for you. Oh no, I think 11 is really the cutoff for uh, educating with Gregarious. Uh, you are probably not going to last long enough. You might. Let's go with you. I 
I already took care of that. Alright, that's probably about everyone. Close enough for now, at least. Really like it if Norway would put itself back together again. How are you guys doing? Thank you. Got a truce expiring with Denmark. Okay, he became of legal... Ooh, and he's a genius. Alright, let's see. Um... See if we can find any geniuses to marry to him. Don't see any yet. Nope. Thought I saw one. Ah. You were six. Good enough. Close enough. I'll set up a betrothal there. Fantastic. How are your wars doing? Um, 45% in favor of the King of Norway. Okay. It's probably going to take a long time. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. No interesting... Uh, not starting out with anything. Well, we'll just go with that here. It's fine by me. He accepts the betrothal. Fantastic. Good news all around. Another genius to marry into the family. Keep trying to get more. Keep trying to get more. So, can't do much with the uh, um, Denmark. Because I'm not close enough to any of their territories. Uh, looks like um, his war is over. He, uh... Well, the war was won, but... Was it a white piece? Probably should have paid more attention. Nope. I wish you could search this thing. So I am... I'd really like to know what happened, because they didn't get any terrain. Territories, I mean. So... Yeah. Probably just white peace, then. It was reduced down to 45%, uh, so... He personally controls quite a bit of territory. I hope you get a claim on that down there soon. I'd appreciate that. Let's see. 19% um, per uh, year. Come on, get me a claim. I need more territory. And eventually get down here somewhere. That is a... Ah! Ha ha ha! My liege, my work in vans is, seems to have come to fruition. By bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents, I've managed to fabricate a claim on the county of vans presently held by King Sian of Brittany. Let's see, that's going to cost me 200 gold, 150 prestige. Boom. I will take that. Alright, let's see. First of all, you go there. What allies do you have? Um, cannot call these allies to war. Anjou, 
the Duke of Brittany, and just one of the uh, guys, well, because they're his vassals. All right, um, well, let's see, he has a strong claim on the County of Anjou, and he has a strong claim on a barony. Pfft. whoop de crap Well, let's see, uh, currently his opinion of me is 50. Well, you know what? Actually, let's check to see what his current troop... Uh, <laughs> not much. Even if he could, if he could raise everyone, it wouldn't be much. Because then I could go on a holy war for this territory. Mm, so good. Oh, well, let's go ahead and do it. Let's claim that territory. Uh, I could call, call in uh, Count Hugo of Ipperin, but I don't think I need to. Go ahead and raise up all of our ships. Let's actually start by... Well, I was about to say I should start by moving my ships, but uh, no, I should wait until I should raise up my uh, troops first. Alright, let's go ahead and see. Who can we get on to ships? Get on the ship there. Get on the ship there. You cannot get on the ship. You can get on the ship. All of you guys can just uh, move up here. You go ahead and board that. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Did I send you? Yes, I did. I send you? No, I did not. That. Did I send you? Yes, I did. Come on, ship. Come on over. Those ships can come over as well. Alright, over there. There. And there. down there. Might as well send these two there. Um, you can get on the, those ships. Around there. You cannot, so just walk on down. Already sending that down. These ships can come down as well. Go ahead and walk down. You can walk down as well. Over. There we go. That should be everyone. Did I? I did not move those boats. Let's move those boats. Actually, let's not move the boats. Let's board with that unit and bring it around. There we go. Alright, you guys can uh, board up there. Come on down. Alright, so I'm going to have to leave some troops here uh, initially. Uh, I'm not going to be able to take everyone down there in one... Uh, one giant flotilla, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Let's wait for these ships to get up there. And that should be everyone. Okay, let's merge all of the ships together. And now let's see. Um, let's start cutting out some of the small units. Need to get under 9,800. It's not getting me that close quickly, but uh, there we go. 
And... What is the smallest unit left? That one. Okay, good enough. Go ahead and board up. Oh! Seriously, you're, you're, you're coming around with that. Uh, we'll, we'll meet you down there. It's fine with me. I look forward to slaughtering that army. Hello! Goodbye! I lost 16 troops in that. He lost everyone. Almost 10% uh, uh, war score from that alone. Oh, it is so nice. Alright, let's come around there. Okay, let's go ahead and move them on to, uh... Into the, uh, county there. And, of course, I would get some, uh, um... Viking. Viking Raiders. Well, let's, uh, head back up there. Um, let's see. So he's not gonna be able to... Well, shoot, look at that levy size. Ah, he can do that himself. I'm not, I'm not helping him out. They need to learn to, uh... stand on their own two legs. Okay. They should be, uh... Joining up there any second now. Come on. There we go. Last bit of troops. Okay. Get them on the boat. Send them down there. And I think we will finish up this, uh, this little war in the next episode. As we, uh, finally go and start moving into the mainland of, uh, Europe. We'll see you in the next episode.